Today, I'm really excited to talk to you about Unity AI and AI as a whole as it relates to Unity and my own experience by using these type of tools. As you guys know, AI development has pretty much been accelerating pretty, pretty fast. It's really crazy to know that AI models are popping up every single day. And it's really super hard to catch up, right? You might feel overwhelmed, I feel overwhelmed when it comes to that. But we now have AI models such as ChatGPT with various versions for very detailed conversations, which I personally am using every single day. We also have Dolly 2, a stable diffusion, Mid Journey for our generation, and many other ones, which, like I said, they're popping up all the time. Today is also the time for Unity to join the AI game. Unity AI is expanding their tool sets. Many could say Unity is joining the AI boss, but I will tell you why that isn't really the entire true. Unity today is adding two new products to their Unity AI offering or ecosystem, Unity Muse and also Unity Sentis. So before we dive into the details, let's watch both Unity announcements and I wanna hear your reactions and I'm also going to be giving you details about both. the secret to life? The secret to life is to find something you love to do and do it every day. So the first tool that we saw on this announcement was Unity Muse, and they describe it as an expansive platform for AI drive assistance during creation, which in simple terms, I describe it as a ChatGPT Unity version in which results from an intelligent neural network are used for specific Unity use cases. So with this platform, they are basically launching a few different use cases of what I see as multiple sub-applications within Unity Muse. The first sub-application is Muse Chat, which uses trained data from Unity Docs, training resources, and literally all data Unity publicly provides to help creators with development. This means we can get very specific Unity answers, including scripts, without having to have a Stack Overflow or a Chrome tab open with ChatGPT. Unity also mentions that to create a Muse Chat, they license a third-party LLM referred to as Large Language Model and integrated them with Unity Data. The other sub-application is Muse Animation, which Unity didn't announce it with its closed beta, but I saw it in the Unity Muse announcement. It allows you to provide prompts for a specific animation requirements. For instance, we could say create a character jump, a walk, fighting animations, and this tool will do it for us. I also read about additional features that are coming to Unity Muse, such as bringing textures and sprite generations into its workflow. So your main question may be, is Unity really new to AI? Unity has been doing AI for a long time. I personally use it a lot in some of the applications that I built, and they have been doing it very, very well. It's just not as widely adopted, like something like ChatGPT, which is mainstream, because yes, you do need to have some type of technical skills and be a programmer to be able to use their ML tools. For example, ML Agents, as I mentioned earlier, had a first release September 18, 2017. So that is five and nearly six years since it was first released. ML Agents is a tool that I love because it allows you to use the Unity Editor to train, simulate, and embed machine learning models, which literally can run everywhere by using the power of Barracuda. So what is Barracuda? Well, Barracuda is a package that is lightweight and it provides basically a cross-platform neural network inference library for Unity, which allows you to embed neural network models that are created from PyTorch, from TensorFlow and also Keras. Well, I hope this helped you understand where Unity stands and what Unity is currently building going forward with AI. 
This is currently closed beta, so I'm really excited to see what comes out. What are your thoughts about it? Do you use these tools today? Are you looking forward to using what Unity is offering? Just let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to hear your opinion about that. And if you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because that's gonna help me in bringing you more videos like this or different videos as it relates to XR. Thank you very much, guys.